we are back. So, last we left off. The crew has found themselves in the Palace of Sin, having decided to... break down peace talks between the uh, between the patron, the, the lady that rules over the Shadow Realm, the Shadow Fae, and the sculptor, the dark goddess of death and art that resides here, who made her presence known, and as Zoon unleashed a creature that there was some tension between with the thing with many tails that escaped from the lover's loot the lady in question utilizing her immediate forces uh disapparated said creature and systematically enslaved and put the entire party within the portraits that you had seen before uh the bone framed pictures um paintings where each of them weren't captured in some form of some diabolic torture slash hell, with Zoon being the only one, the last one, to be bargained with, as a deal was struck between Zoon and the sculptor, as Zistra demanded two things before she would allow any further, further conversation to be had. The first, that Velry would be her new champion, the second, that Zoon would forever be hers in both body and soul. And as we closed, we witnessed Zoon signing a leather bound book in his own blood, for scaling the steps to a horrifying um, bed made out of skin and bone with the portraits of her party members facing it, um, hovering in the in the air. As Zoon, like the individual he is, slipped off his cloak, his armor, and then we'll let your imagination do the rest as to what happened with this uh, very sensual but yet disturbing um, individual that he decided to lay with. All right. So, we are picking up there. As Zoon, you are currently lying on your back under what appears to be some kind of silk sheets, perhaps. Completely black. There is a goblet of some kind of iron-smelling liquid on the bed table next to you. The goddess herself is sipping her own libation, lounging against the bone headboard, completely nude as well. She looks down, looks over towards you, Zoom. One eye, this like deep black, the other, this strange purplish, almost golden hue. She says, sing for me. I'm going to sing for her. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's not, please let my friends go. Da, 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 da. You're a nasty weird hoe. Da 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 da. Okay, hang on. Not saying those words to her. Or even thinking them in her general direction, because Jesus Christ. Okay, performance. Are you still broken? You are still broken, so we're going to do this. Do, 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 do. Oh, God. Mm. Wait a minute, though. That's not without. That's not with my plus 15, but also. Okay, okay. Do I have. Have I had a short rest or you anything? Did not get a short rest. Are you okay. kidding me? Damn After it. what you just I, I did? Hoping. I'm going to add my Bardic Inspiration, my last one on top of that. Mm -hmm. So that is 15, 16, 18, 18 plus 8. 
So a 26 to sing. 26. Do you sing begin like to a sing? canary. What, what, what kind of song are we, are we singing, Zoom? Oh, fuck. Not the one I wrote about her pissing off death. Um, yeah. I think I will sing a song about strange bedfellows and poor decision making. Hmm. She listens and intently. How in the end, everything ends up right where it started. <laughs> she lets you finish the entire song. The whole time, just listening intently. She smiles at the end. Oh, you are very, very good indeed. Mm. Mm. How sweet yeah. you can be. When I've had more rest, I can be better. Mm. No rush. No rush at all. Would you like to see your friends now? Yes, please. She waves her hand. <laughs> and the four portraits <laughs> begin to disassemble themselves. Rogar, Velry, Rosire, and Triss fall to the floor. It's a very short drop. Triss, you are conscious with one hit point. Take a the rest break. of you, the same. Oh, one hit point. Yes. Shall we be fatigued as well? Uh, you will take one fatigue condition, yes. And seriously, we all down to one hit point? Yes, you are. Okay. <clears throat> he kept you stable. Just on the cusp. <laughs> just, just alive enough to watch. Just alive enough to watch. As all of you are thrust into reality, you see before you a large bed the goddess herself lying naked upon it. Zoon also trying to cover himself as best he can lying next to her. Hey guys. And we work things out. Well. Take a drink. I have no shame. Take a drink. It is quite literally blood soon. You, you know, at this point, uh, I've had blood in my mouth. <laughs> and then you kind of like dribbles down your throat a little bit and you... I am vintage. Put it down. But that's so, um, uh, yeah. Yes. Zoom. Mm, um, get up. You yeah. recover all your hit points. Oh, yay. And you get the equivalent of a full rest. Oh, Freaking the bloody ambrosia. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to like lift my hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <let's... laughs> I'll walk Please. over, um, you know, pull on my pants, grab her. So I'm going to be like all up in Belry's face. Mm -hmm. um, just go bring her the goblet. Goddess just sits there. All she right. looks at you, Valerie. Huh. A deal was made. Oh yeah. Yes. I can't wait it to was hear signed this. Signed in blood, sweat, and tears, quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent lubricants, all of them. Oh, that sounds about right. Part for the course. I have my artist. Now all I need is my champion. All right. Well, um, what do you mean you haven't your artist? Well, don't be bashful, Zoom. Oh, God. Zoom. Should I say I Crentel? Mean, uh, you could say that. That's <laughs> fine. You can but call me Crent. whatever you like. That's fantastic. Good. Can I call you pet? No. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know that basis yet. It'll warm up to me. You'll like it. Okay. That doe eyes. Very well. Connecting dots here. Miss Valerie. Okay. Lady Valerie. Uh-huh. Will you accept your position? So when you say champion, what all does it entail? We didn't get to talk the details earlier. You will be my new champion. I mean, do I have to stay here forever? Do I get, do I? No. What does that mean? You will bring my will into this realm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can I also do what I want to do, though? Of course. As long as what you want is what I want. Can we guarantee the party always be safe from harm? From you? (laughs) From me? Of course not. Oh. (laughs) Who can't guarantee that? No. There would be no fun in that, would there? Oh, there would be lots of The fun best there. art is made in dire straits, after all. I don't like where this is going. However, <laughs> if I must sweeten the deal, you will not be forced to stay here like sin. Mm. But. That's positive. You will need to make appearances, at least. Okay. <laughs> and perhaps when you're done doing whatever you need to do, perhaps when the last of your party has fallen, you will take your position permanently. Hmm. And hey, the handmaidens and Yarla still get to go free? Yes. Well, I should yeah. warn you that thing is not what you think it is. She just gives a little subtle smile. Yarla. I'm assuming. What you mean? Shouldn't really respond. Okay. Leaves it ambiguous. Oh boy. <clears throat> no other options, right? Because Zoon already kind of made the deal. <laughs> well, a deal has been struck, but you could always break it if you want. Um, and so what's in it for me? Other than, oh. you know, look like, huh? Power, mm-hmm. freedom, sort of. You will bow to no man. Only to a woman. Hmm. Yes. We well, will be free to live the bloody life you enjoy. Work so hard to escape this place. <laughs> I am conflicted. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. So when and then I'm a champion just forever and always. What if I want to like you know step down someday? Let someone else do it. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Good. All right. Okay. Frank. She offers you her goblet. 
Oh. Fancier. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Will my curse be broken? What curse? Um, the, uh, have to eat flesh every day. You are currently bound to the flesh pounder? Yeah. Um, do you wish to not be bound to the flesh pounder? Yeah, but I, I think it's, I only did it to kill Sid. <laughs> do you, are you voicing this concern right now before you drink? Yeah, I'd like to make it be part of the deal. <laughs> she just smiles and nods her head. You begin to drink from the goblet. It's warm. It's fresh. Mm. It tastes like electricity. As it slowly moves down your throat, you feel the heat. And then you feel something strange around your throat, your neck oh. in particular. As a something begins to bulge out of your skin. Oh. As you begin to kind of like kind of like grasp at your at your neck. And there is a choker mm -hmm. that pulls itself made out of your own blood. Oh, cute and then hardens in place a large almost like blood ruby dangling from it mm. she smiles yes I she stands up in all of her glory raises her hand and says kneel lady of sin Whoa, whoa! I'm just Lady of Sin. Oh, can we? Just... That is your position. Oh God! Can we call me Valerie still? <laughs> Please. <laughs> you are Lady Sin now. Oh no! I instant regret. <laughs> That's your title. Okay. You can be called whatever you want. Okay. I will kneel. As you are now in possession of the shackle of sin. Oh, um, it is not currently in there because I haven't put it in there. It has a lot of good, good things going for it, though. You'll see. Does it? It does. <laughs> All right. Okay. Mm. Um, as the accord is struck, the lady looks at the rest of you. She makes a movement with her hand and the handmaids are brought down. They kind of like walk out of like an open like shadow like portal. All three of them, Zyme included. They are brought to you, Velray. However, their skin is pale. Their eyes are red. They may have feigned teeth now. And then she motions, and Nyarla is brought, shackled in several places. The death knight that escaped you is walking her down the staircase to all of you. He stands next to his patron. The sculptor looks towards Velry, then Zoom. Well, the deed is done. I look forward to seeing you both again soon. And she turns, um, produces out of like almost a thin air a bone uh, paintbrush, dips it in some of the ambrosia, and very quickly 
and expertly begins to paint a yawning portal across the backboard of her bed. She looks back towards the five of you. Mm-hmm. Yes, Melanie. Can we um unvampire my friends, please? <laughs> I didn't know this was Oh, they are bound to you, Lady Sin. Forever. Uh, how, I didn't want that. I wanted them to be free, live their lives. They are free to live the life you let them. Do they have to be vampires? Velry. <laughs> you will also notice, Velry, that your skin is paler than it's ever been. Mm, your eyes are now red. Do they have said, to be? Okay. <laughs> live your life as you will. Just make appearances. I look mm. forward to great things. Oh boy. Damn. She steps off the bed. And the portal lies open. Rapidly dressing and jumping through that portal. <laughs> Soon is rapidly yes. addressing. So not forgetting shit. Zoom immediately just jumps through. Are the rest of you following? I recommend someone drink that blood wine. All of you with your one hit point. Oh yeah, did I? I guess I'm back to full. No, oh, you are back at full for sure. Elf. So we drink this and then we follow them, huh? Are you... So Zoon is already through the portal at this point. Are the rest of you following? Uh, yes. Why not? Okay. You're free to drink the wine if you'd like. I'll take a drink of the wine. Rosire takes a drink. What about Trist? Okay. Right. No. <clears throat> Hard pass. Okay. How about Trist? I mean, Rogar. I not going to drink that, uh... Rogar's like gonna drink the, the the bloody ambrosia. No. Okay. Anyone um, who does gets a long rest, right? They do get a long rest. All right, so I get a long rest. Okay. I get a long rest also. Uh, Rosire also has to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see what happens. It's a natural twenty. You're a lucky man, Rosire. Nothing happens. Yeah. Good. Nice. Oh, Zoom. That worked out well. Um, yeah. I forgot to tell you. Gotta Hold do on. a con? No, you don't have to do a con. Let me look it up real fast. Um, I need you to open up your character sheet. Then. And where is it? Here it is. I need you to change your race to Dampir. (laughs) Oh, wait. Am I still Dampir or am I a vampire now? You are, for race purposes, you are a Dampir. Okay. However, with the Shackle of Sin, you are much closer to a true vampire. Yeah. Does daylight affect me? You'll find out. Oh God! <laughs> Can I? Am I telepathic now? We'll find out. Yeah, you have to see. Von <laughs> It doesn't appear to be the case. <laughs> You're not yet telepathic. <laughs> or you would not have to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> So, since Zoom was the first one to jump through, um, where would Zoom like to have gone? Where would Zoom fled to? Mm. Where were you thinking of safety? Oh, God. Anywhere but here with my friends? Where you need a place in mind. Mm. Where would we have tried you, to go? You, you answer. You. I know. I would 
probably think, um, let's see, probably that. Anywhere probably in existence. Anywhere in existence. That you could think of. Where, what is safe for Zoom? Mm. Captain, whatever. I was about to say Captain Marvel. <laughs> yeah. Personal quarters. Yeah, actually, that's pretty legit. But if it's, are we just going where we feel safe? Is that where it's taking us? You were the first one through the portal. Or wherever you deem the portal is going to. Marvel's bedroom. Okay. Zoom. Yeah. You instant are instantaneously transported through the planes. You appear in a familiar bedroom coming from the headboard mm-hmm. of a bed that you spent at least a few days in, sweating, mm. lathered up. Oh, he was lathered up, I guess. As you spill out onto the bed, the smell of that that kind of like rock like odor that musky scent of marble permeates the air mm. yes instantaneously mm. it is currently vacant Good stuff the door is closed mm. you can see you have night vision shortly after your arrival the rest of your party also arrives one after the other Strange she would send us here. So yeah, I fucked up. I'm sorry, guys. I thought, you know... I'm just not going to make the decisions moving forward. Any decisions. I'm going to just defer to you all. Obviously, I have a history of making bad decisions, and I'm really sorry this was the only out I could think of. As in, it was the only out she gave me. (laughs) I'm gonna walk up to Zoo and pat his back. Oh god, I think you're gonna hit. Well, you know, it's me and you in this together forever, huh, Zoo? I'm just gonna look at him. Uh, Yarla is still shackled. Oh yeah. She. <laughs> are we. Are we back home? Yarla. I am so tired. Is there anyone else? Anyone else in the world who wants to kidnap you, kill you, do unspeakable horrible things to you? I don't know why these things keep happening to me. I'm sorry. Okay, insight check. Yeah, I feel like you know. Make an insight check. Yeah. You fucking liar. But I'm not telling her that. All right. Not a good one. So that's a the three plus the twelve. So that's a fifteen. Fifteen. Um, what did you want to make one as well, Valerie? Yeah, if I can. Because my house is. Suspect. You know what? I'm gonna give my yeah, and I'm gonna give myself some bardic inspo on top of that Go because. Ahead. Or, Why not? Yeah, it's not that helpful. Seventeen total. Fourteen for Valerie. Seventeen for Zoom. She seems genuine. She seems that she's on the verge of breaking herself. I'm sorry I doubted you, Norella. <sighs> I just don't know why these things keep happening to me. What have I done to deserve this? Give her a hug. Give her a hug. At this point, Valerie. Poor thing. You realize, Valerie, that there are three cloaked figures kneeling by your side. Oh. Your handmaids. I don't like it. Lady Sin, what would you have us do? Live your life. Go free. Be free. You wish us to leave. <laughs> to do don't kill a bunch do. of people. Yeah. Except for killing people. Don't, don't kill murder. people. They, <laughs> they nod their heads. Do not murder. I guess this is it. And what do you want to do? Do you they want to stay with me? They rush the cabin door, uh-huh. open it. The sunlight spills in, and they are instantly turned to ash and die. 
Now they scattered <laughs> throughout Marble's cabin. That's <laughs> what? That's what they wanted to do? They knew that was going to happen? You commanded them to leave. No, I said and do what you want to do. Oh. No, you know, if Rezar were to cast Daylight inside with Velry present, that could turn out poorly, huh? Oh, Velry, God. A sliver of light touches oh, you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you feel a twinge. Yep. But no reaction. So they just died. You can't just, like, rewind that. I said do what you want to do. I didn't say leave. I believe the first words were you can leave. <laughs> yeah, and that followed by live your life, do what you want to do. Technically, she said can, not should, or do that leave. Is, she said yeah. you could leave, but I mean, that's kind of open ended. Well, I think they do have that ability. I will say they that Zyme, literally let's rewind asked, the tape. <laughs> do you want us to leave? I will say that, you know, and you said, I want you to go live your life. Recently, have the love of her life. Quite yeah. literally killed before her. Then she That's was turned true. into a creature of undead. Yeah. That happened. So really me becoming champion to save them was off or not. That's cute. I mean, they probably would have been stuck. We're going to have form. to go outside eventually anyway, so. You know. I mean, at that time, would preferable. <laughs> oh, I just can't even with this. I'm, I'm just okay. Marble turns. To, suddenly, Marble's like frame is in the doorway. Oh, what? What is happening in here? Why is it uh. so dusty? I would like to collect the dust. You begin to collect the dust, Valerie. Save it. Turn it to jewelry. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> this has gone off the rails. I just need a constant reminder. That has come. Okay. Um. Marbles, you know. <gasps> thinking what the hell just happened are you guys okay I will be soon I'm gonna drag his ass in there and kick everyone's ass out right now I'm not going out there right now <laughs> is she burning did you burn I thought you just felt no. a you twinge, said a twinge and, and I don't it's trust it she's fine she's fine okay for now Rosario does have you know. some some concerns about having drank the the lifeblood and uh, uh, probably for good reason, Rosario. May, yeah, may, right. Maybe <laughs> maybe right. maybe wondering whether or not he's betrayed any oaths to his goddess. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know certain mm. things. This is this is a party of regrets now. Mm. Mostly. Someone just offers you a drink, so. Rosario. You don't just say yes, please, all the time. Yeah. He was weak. He was enthralled. He, still, he was weak. You know, when someone mm. asks you if you are a god, you say no, right? Mm. Okay. So, uh, I'm assuming you catch up, yeah. Marble, at this point. Not completely, but I will give um, him like the cliff notes mm. of as a lot's that, happening. <laughs> as we're uh, leaving, I guess one by one, we're getting kicked out for another. Uh, salacious session with soon. Um, I, um, oh God, God has uh, to get out of my system. Um, Mogar is going to be the last one out, and he's going to um, turn, and he's going to say, "Don't you dare judge me, Mogar." <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna say, David. Uh, we're just gonna say um, thank you, sir. And he's gonna close the door. No, I'm gonna slam the door in your fucking face after you say that. I'd rather thank just... you. Yeah, okay. just oh. I'm feeling lots of feelings right now, and they're all my own right. damn fault. So I can't be mad at any of you. So just slams the door. Marble says, "Oh my." As he's tossed around inside, 
Well, you know, first off, are you... Is this consensual? You've never asked that before. Now you're making me feel like an asshole. There was mention of that as well. Going to just move forward then. Mm. Not saying shit. He knows okay. the safe word. We're good. <laughs> he knows the safe word. I love it. <laughs> right. Within moments, there are sounds of beastly noises oh. coming from Marble's cabin. Hey. Yes. Uh, the rest of you are outside <laughs> in the sunlight. Or should I say dim light as there is a strange glow through the clouds as if you'll remember the ring that circles ember is beginning to coalesce it's beginning to form it is beginning to become a singular celestial body as it appears that a moon is forming where once there was nothing. As it passes in front of the uh, in front of the many suns, the suns appear to also be converging closer together than they were the last time you were in the material. You're not sure how much time has passed. But strange things are afoot for sure. You spend your time on the deck of the ship. It's currently moored at Port Dorona. However, for Velry's sake, that night, as you guys were all resting, Zune in Marble's cabin, drenched in sweat from vigorous, let's just call it um, exercise, the rest of you down below in the sleeping quarters of the average, you know, um, sailor. Velry having a hard time sleeping. Maybe because you don't need to sleep anymore. You don't need rest. You don't need food. You need for almost nothing. But as you sit there, you reflect on what you really want. And when the night hits its zenith, what would be midnight, reforming from the ashes, three cloaked handmaids by your side, Velry, in shock as they look up at you. And you see a mixture of regret and disdain as they are quite literally bound for an eternity to your service. And that's where we're in tonight's episode of The Whispers from the Stars. Wow. All right. So... You know, let's do favorite moments of the night, everyone. You know, let's let's bring it up a notch. Why not? Let's start. Let's start with Rogar. You know, uh, well, I liked the uh, description of the, the void monster thing. You know, it seemed real creepy, scary. You know. <laughs> It sounded cool. The walker? Yeah, I, I like. Yeah, yeah, the walker. <laughs> and I like the, uh, the, uh, the use of the reality break. That was cool. You know? It was. It was. Um, yeah. Probably my favorite moments. Probably my favorite moments. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? Let's slide on over to Tristan Varel. <laughs> Probably Rizard drinking the blood. Mm. As he. Uh, he wanted short-term gains or long-term losses. Um, of note, if you would have failed that 
save or Zyre, you would have also had to change your uh, race to Dampier. So, glad you did. <laughs> All right. Speaking of favorite moments, Rosire, favorite moments of the night. <laughs> ah, you know, uh, uh, perhaps not myself, but I feel as though someone I once knew uh, was a Dampier, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, uh, favorite moments of the night. Um, no, uh, I thought we were we were all going to die. Um, and uh, I, I, I really didn't uh, anticipate um, being sucked into a, uh, you know, a Dorian Gray situation, but there we were. Yes, there you were. And uh, glad to have survived. Um, felt like maybe drinking the uh, the blood wine was, was you know, a risky endeavor. Um, it's worth but, it. But... Uh, being being spent with a level of exhaustion that I was out of spells had no had no nothing and mm-hmm. didn't know where we were going to end up and I was mm-hmm. like you know perhaps that short term game would have been saving Triss's ass yeah there you go because you know, know, I would rather die <laughs> I'd rather die <laughs> what do you know that's <laughs> that's totally fair it's totally fair <laughs> uh, let's slide on over to you know let's slide on over to Zoom. I fucked up many times. And, <laughs> I wouldn't uh, call it that. Is how it played out. Uh, that means I fucked us. No. But, I mean, at the end, it was very sweet of Rogar to not cast judgment for once, um, which was very much what I was prepared for, which was Zoon. 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 <laughs> I. <clears throat> Just walking away. That was pretty much what I was expecting, and mm-hmm. uh, not quite sure how to handle praise from Rogar because I don't think we get that very often. I mean, that was. But yeah, no, that was uh, fun. Honestly, she seems like a fun goddess to follow. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. That's how I'm gonna look at it. It's gonna be fun. Sorry, everyone, yes. that I almost got you all killed because of my arrogance and. Um, then trapped Valerie and myself with this person forever. My bad. Hmm. I wouldn't say trapped. It was, it was a deal. You get something out of it. Last but not least, Valerie. <sighs> I just don't even know how to process <clears throat> what all went down today. Um, I'll admit I wanted to be the champion initially <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be great um, I don't like that my handmaidens are now bound to me forever <clears throat> I figured that one out it looked upset that made me sad <sighs> so I don't know. I don't know how to feel. I mean, it was great. I, you know, st- I, I really don't know how any other way it would have turned out. Yeah, it's hard but, to say. There, I mean, there was multiple ways <clears throat> these guys could have got out of there. I didn't know what you're gonna do. Yeah, I feel like I have a plan. It just might not work out. <laughs> we'll definitely see how it goes. Oh. Um, yeah. I'll have your I'll have your item done by next time for sure. I haven't already <laughs> known. I just haven't put it into the old uh, Beyond system yet. So okay. we'll get that all worked out. And uh, yeah, if I had a favorite moment, you know, I didn't know if we were actually going to get to a contract binding, but. I don't know. I felt, it felt appropriate for a goddess of art and lust and death to bind her contracts with blood, sweat, and quite literal tears. So, I felt pretty good about that. But yeah. The rest of it played out uh, the way it did. And we'll see what's up next for us uh, next time. Uh, of course, all of you out there, this is going to be it for tonight. Um, do make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Which, if you're seeing 
episode past 100 something surely you are by now but you never know and uh do make sure to check out both Valerie and the lovable dan decker um i have links to all their social media stuff down in the description of the video if you want to check them out um they're doing all kinds of things on twitter and some other stuff ish there's links of it i don't know what it is it's in there and then um uh do go ahead and leave us a comment we'd love we love to hear from you guys we'd love to read them and uh that's gonna be it for tonight so as usual i've been jumbo thick thank you for watching and we will see you guys in the next one have a good day <laughs>